what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in this video i'm going to simply show you how to run a facebook ad to capture leads um so no matter what type of business you are man whether you're a service-based business whether you're a local gym a chiropractor a yoga studio you're a dentist you're a real estate agent you're an insurance agent you're a freaking agency owner or whether you're an e-commerce um online seller and you have physical products on a website what you're looking to do is capture a sell, right? So whether you're looking to capture a lead or capture a sell or make a sell, that's a conversion. So the best type of ads to run when it comes to Facebook ads, and this is what a lot of people miss out. They they miss out on telling you the exact objective to, to target, to run. Um, and so I'm gonna just cut to the chase and show you exactly how to do it from beginning to end and take you through the entire thought process. So this might be a longer video, but I'm telling you, man, this one video alone will have you capturing more leads than you could possibly handle. And this is the beginning. This is where it starts, right? Um, this is the foundation and this is just what, what you can build upon to, to start really gathering data and start getting your pixel a ton of data, which will allow you to create custom audiences and retarget because the money is in the retargeting. The money is when you hit a cold market and you continue to get in front of that warm market until, it, until they turn hot. Um, you target a cold market, you create a custom audience around that around that around that that audience that market and then you continue to retarget them and show show them more value and show them more relevant ads in the future the money is in your retargeting so in this case this is actually going to be our first ad um this is going to be the first week of of many weeks to come i'm actually in the the campaigns the ads manager of my friend christy shout out to my girl christy crushing it in the public speaking um industry and just asked me if i can make a simple video and and help her run this ad um so this is week one. We're going to roll out conversions. And again, the whole objective is to start warming up that pixel to start building our custom audiences, which we can then retarget in the future with more ads. Okay, so here's what, what, what we want to do. Right here at the top, you can click on the home and over here on the left, you'll see either ads manager or you'll see business manager. OK, um, you don't want to click on ads because that will take you to the actual um, your business page. We want to get to the actual dashboard. We want to get back to here. So if, if anything, you can go to business.facebook.com and that will bring you back over here, um, if, if anything. But what what we did is we just simply clicked on business manager and then we clicked on ads manager. Actually, before I, I had to click on ads manager, but now it's just taking me straight there. But I clicked on business manager. Actually, here we go. So I clicked on business manager and then I click on ads manager right here. And that brings you that brings us into the into the actual ads manager. This is where we want to be. We don't want to run Facebook ads from our business page. You don't want to boost a post from your cell phone. Get on a computer and come to this business manager. This is where you want to be. Okay. You want to be right here, business.facebook.com forward slash ads manager. This is where you want to be. So make note of that if needed. Um, this is where the magic happens. Okay. So what we did, let me show you this real quick, just so you know where we're coming from and just give you some context of, of what we're about to do. Um, this is a video ad. Actually, it's not a video ad. It is a video. Um, it's a video that we're going to be running as a conversions ad. And that video was posted on the business page first. So right over here, this is the video. Actually, that's January 1. It's not that one. It's actually going to be January. Where did it go? January, January, January. Let's see. Where are her videos? Let me find her video. Okay, perfect. So it's right over here. So this is one that went up 11 hours ago. Want to know the secret to creating a compelling talk that gets you to stand out, gets you, in fact, let's see. Let's see. So, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. You guys are, are seeing, this is behind the scenes. This is this is the real deal Holyfield right here. I just caught a little error. So before I go and run that ad, I want to make sure, I want to triple check the post. I want to triple check the verbiage. Look, there's two spaces. Let me bring that back. Want to stand, want to know the secret to creating a, now Grammarly's telling me to choose create, but want to know the, the secret to create, yeah, to create a compelling talk that gets you to stand out from your competitors and gets results. Look at that, man. Look at that. There's misspelling, right? 
you want to come in here, you want to quadruple check the text, you want to quadruple check the title, um, and you want to make sure that that is the thumbnail you want to roll with. Um, now that thumbnail, if I come over here, I can I can probably look for one that that might be a little bit more clear. How about this one with the big old smile? Shout out to Christy. Actually, that one's a nice one. Let's go with that one. So look, I can change the thumbnail, which is what I'm about to do. Um, hit save, and now that becomes the new thumbnail. But I want to make sure that, and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this link right here. Shout out to Christy. But again, this is what you brought me aboard for to really clean it up. Um, what I'm going to do, this is the link that's going to go in the learn more button. So as they see the ad, they click on learn more and they come straight to this link right here. Now, sometimes it's good to put in the actual copy, which is the, the text, but this, this link is a little too long. So I'm going to take it out. Okay. So I'm going to take it out. So want to know the secret to create a compelling talk comma that gets you to stand out from your competitors and gets results look no further click on learn more click on learn more to register for my free master class okay perfect and see this is when they click on learn more this is the link we're bringing them to this is the cartridge page so so those of you that are looking to capture leads um now if you're if you're selling physical products then most likely you're on some shopify platform or some e-commerce type of platform then then it, it, it really wouldn't apply to you. You you have that platform, but for anyone else providing any other type of service, you're a massage therapist. You're a freaking a, again. You're a yoga inst instructor, and you want to you want to get people a free seven day pass to your yoga studio, and they have to click come to a landing page, enter their name and email, and download that coupon. When it comes to that, I use Kartra for all my landing pages. Now, when that person, this is, this is a Kartra landing page right here. When they click on that button and they enter that name and email, I also use Kartra for the email automation. The moment that email is, is, is entered, then an email triggers right away. And, and that, that, that can lead them to a webinar, that can lead them to a free download, a free PDF, whatever. That email automation is super powerful inside of Kartra. And in this case, she's a service-based business. So her goal is to, is to get them to opt in, register for a masterclass, and also schedule an appointment. So Kartra, I also use for my online calendar, my landing pages, my email autoresponder, and my online calendar. So if you're in the service business and you're looking for appointments, you're looking to capture leads, Kartra, there's a 14-day trial right in the description. If you're running Facebook conversion ads, you need some type of landing page software, bottom line. And all I do is, all I want to do is encourage you to compare it to whatever else you're using. ClickFunnels, lead pages, Kajabi, MailChimp, whatever, dude. Activate a 14-day trial. I'll email you my calendar. Or, yeah, I'll email you my calendar. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll know that you activated a 14-day trial. Let's jump on a call, man. Let's jump on a call. Let's strategize. Let's pick it apart. Let's compare it to what you're using because I'm telling you, man, there's nothing like it um, in the market. So this is a simple landing page that we're going to bring traffic to to promote this up and coming web class master class that she has going on on the 21st. So our whole goal is to run ads from now from the 14th to the 20. Actually, we're going to go we're going to go to because this is at 5 p.m. Pacific. So we're going to run this ad from the 14th to the 21st and maybe cut it off at cut it off at 4 p.m. We'll cut it off at 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific time on the 21st. OK, so here's what we're going to do. Here's the link we want. So when they click on learn more, they're going to go to that link right there. So let's come back into the actual platform. So let's 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 save this. Make sure we got everything. How to create how to create a story that pays you that pays and slays. OK, cool. So we'll go with that and then we'll just hit we'll hit save. Actually, let me make sure that we got that um, that thumbnail. Perfect, we got it. Okay, cool. So let's save. Okay, so what I always what I always encourage you to do, man, is um, let me refresh this because that link should not be there anymore. Um, what I always encourage you to do is to is to post your video on your business page first. Okay, for those of you that are going to be running Facebook ads, we want to we want to post it over here first. So now I cleaned it up. That text looks looks a lot better. Okay, there's the thumbnail. Look, there's a thumbnail. Nice thumbnail of her smiling. Okay, so post it here first. And the reason for it is because when we, when this ad ends on the 21st, 
the video and the post will still be there. I want the social proof. I want the credibility. I want this to read 5,000 views, right? I want it to say, you know, 15 shares. I want that credibility to remain on the business page forever. And even though it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a web class that she's conducting on the 21st and maybe, you know, they're way past that date. It doesn't matter. Like leave the content on the page, post it here first, because if you don't post it here first, that's what, what, what we call a dark post ad. If you don't post on the business page, then you simply just come back here, run the ad, grab the video from your downloads folder on your computer. And on the 21st, when that ad ends, it's nowhere to be found. It's like, dude, if you're going to spend the money on the ad to get all that engagement, to get all them views, to get people to click, to put a learn more button, to get your link up there, like you might as well keep the damn thing on the page forever. Like shit, you're paying for it, right? So that's my whole, you know, take on it. Um, if we're going to spend some money on it, leave the damn thing up there forever. Okay. So now that we cleaned up the text, we got everything up on the page. We're good to go. So now here's what we're going to do. You guys, again, this is week one. This is week one. We're going to roll out. We're going to go for the next eight weeks and keep running a new ad every week, promoting her weekly event. Okay. Um, so we're going to come in here, click on the green button. Um, and here's a, here's a side note. If you haven't created any custom audiences, that's what you want to do first. If you haven't set up a custom conversion, that's what you want to do first. So I'm going to link those videos, those two, in fact, you know what, three videos. If you haven't installed your Facebook pixel, look, as I come over here to this page, look, right here, my pixel is firing. Christie's ad manager pixel. This pixel is firing. When that person registers and enters their name and email and goes to the next page, that pixel is firing. So step one, I'm going to link three videos in the description. If you haven't done these first three steps, don't even get to this part yet, okay? This is, this is, this is step four. This is step four of the damn four-part freaking requirement, right? Step one is installing that pixel. Step two is creating a custom conversion. And step three are creating, is creating custom audiences. We want custom audiences because those who click on learn more and land here, they're not all going to register. There's going to be a good percentage of people who land here and don't register. We need to capture that data. I need to know who lands here. My pixel is on it. I take the link. I create a custom audience. Therefore, I can track everyone who's landing here but has not opted in. If you clicked on my ad and you got this far and for whatever reason you didn't opt in, that's at least someone that was interested. They, they, were, they were somewhat interested to get this far. They're in a custom audience. Now, when I go run ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, I'm gonna always retarget people who landed here but didn't register, okay? That's a custom audience that needs to be set up for sure. The next custom audience that needs to be set up is as people come here and enter their name and email, right? They come here, they enter their, their first name, last name, email. They put, yes, count me in. They then go to the thank you page, the thank you for registering page. That's a completely different URL. That's the second page. When they go there, we need to also segment and categorize the people who land there. Those are our registrants. Those are our, our AKA leads. So I need to have a custom audience of everyone who lands on the thank you page, because as I go run ad number two and on, I want to make sure I always exclude that audience. I don't need to keep showing the same web class register for my web class freaking ad to people who registered three weeks ago, a week ago, two weeks ago. I don't need to keep doing that. I need to be able to exclude those leads, right? Custom audience. Another custom audience, the third custom audience are those who are watching the video. This is a two minute and 28 second video. We've created an, a custom audience of those who watch 25%. So if you watch 25% of this video, of, 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 of this video, then you're going to be put into a custom audience and we're going to retarget you from this point on. Video number two, ad number three, ad number four, ad number four, five, six, seven, eight, we're going to always retarget people who are watching our videos. That's when you really start to lower the cost of your advertising because now you're, you're retargeting warm audiences, right? People who have engaged with you, people who have watched your shit, people who have landed on your pages. It's a warm audience. The cost per click, the cost per lead, the cost per everything would, would drop drastically because now you're targeting a warmer person, right? So, but in the beginning, this is ad number one. This is where it all begins. And 
you're not exactly going to pay the, the lowest per click or the lowest per lead because we're just getting started, right? That's why you got to create these audiences so you can warm up, warm up that pixel and really start giving Facebook some data of those who are engaging, okay? So there's the video, custom audiences, pixel, custom conversion. Those three videos will be in the description, okay? So here, we, here's, here let, let's get the damn show on the road. I clicked the green button. I got here. I'm going conversions, okay? We're going conversions. I'm gonna hit this drop down, and I'm gonna just simply name it right now. And let's name it. Um, let's name it what we somewhat name. Um, Want to know the secret of a compelling talk? Secret of a compelling talk. I'm gonna simply name the campaign. Secret of a compelling talk. Video conversions. Okay. Now the ad set, the ad set, let me pull up, let me pull up her targeting. Um, actually we're going to leave, I'm going to, I'll leave the title blank for now because I'm going to create, I'm going to create three different ad sets. And then, and then the, the, the actual video will just be the same. I'll name that the same video. Okay. So we got that. So let's hit continue. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let me go and check her targeting one more time. Okay, so now we don't need special ad categories. That's off. If you are in any of these industries, you got to hit this drop down. If you're in the credit industry, employment, housing, social issues, elections, or politics, you must shade blue and choose your actual niche, okay? Um, but if you're not, then leave it off and just simply come down and you'll come down to campaign budget optimizations. We're actually going to leave this off because I'm going to simply set the ad on the ad set level. Set the budget at the ad set level, not the campaign level. So I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to hit next. Okay. So let me just simply scroll down. Um, her actual... Perfect. Got it right here. Okay, cool. So now, now we're in the ad set level. Now here's what we're going to do, you guys. So pay attention, all right? This, I'm telling you, man, this video is going to be very, very valuable for you. So watch it over and over and over if you need to, okay? This is where the magic happens in the ad set level, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be targeting four different audiences. We're going to be spending 20 bucks a day, $5 per audience, per interest, per targeting, okay? And here's how we're going to do it. Okay, so here's the first one. The first one is going to be Lisa, N-I-C-H-O-L-S. Okay, that's the first one, okay? Lisa Nichols. And I'm going to scroll down, make sure that the pixel is there. And then what we want is this is our custom conversion, okay? This is where, our, that's actually not at the ATC, but this is where our custom conversion goes. We have three of them set up. We have one for purchased, for leads, and for add to cart. In this case, what we're going to be doing is running a, a, a custom conversion to the lead link, okay? Now, the lead link is the thank you page. The, when I go to your landing page, I enter my name and email. I then go to a thank you page. That URL is the custom conversion, okay? So again, if you're looking to capture leads, if you're looking to make sales using Facebook advertising, advertising watch the video below the link is in the description okay that's a custom conversion how to set up a custom conversion you have to set that up first okay so i already set that up this is a custom conversion storytelling leads okay i'm going to leave dynamic creative off i'm going to leave offer off daily budget i'm actually going to go yeah i'm going to go daily and i'm going to go five bucks okay i'm going to go five bucks and i'm going to start this ad tonight see it's 5 23 i'm actually going to start it a little later i'm going to start it at 9 p.m Okay. I'm going to start it. I'm going to start it at 9 PM and I'm going to have it end on the 21st at 4 30. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go 4 45. Normally I match it. Normally I'll go nine and nine, but, but I'm actually going to go, I'm actually going to go 4 45 because it, it ends at, I mean, it starts the actual web class starts at 5 PM. So I'm going to simply go I'm actually going to go uh, to 4.45 p.m. Okay, so there's daily budget. This is on Lisa Nichols, and here's what I'm going to do next. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, 
And what I'm going to do, custom audiences, this is the first ad. So I don't, I'm not going to put any custom audiences. I'm not going to exclude any. But again, this right here is where your ROI is at, man. I keep, I, I keep trying to I keep trying to trying to really stress how important this is, man, how important custom audiences are to warm up that pixel, to give that pixel as much data as possible and to retarget. OK, that's where, where it's all at is to include your custom audiences in future in future ads and to exclude your custom audiences um, for future ads. OK, exclude will be excluding leads. Those who land on the thank you page, the thank you for registering. That's a lead. Those who purchase, that's a lead. Right. That's a purchase. Those two types of audiences will always be excluded, right? For let's just call it ad number two and on. We'll always exclude. Include, I'll always include people who are watching our previous videos. I'll always include the custom audiences of those who land on um on on her on on her on yeah on her on her landing page those who land on her landing page will always retarget those those who haven't opted in right that's where you would put that super powerful man so location i'm going to go united states and then age i'm actually going to change the age we're going to go 40 her market is a little little up higher 40 and we're going to go 65 we're going to go only only women she only targets women detailed targeting i'm going to leave that I'm going to uncheck that box. So I don't want, I don't want Facebook to show to, to any, anyone out, anyone else outside of my targeting. And then, and then what I'm going to do is right here is where I type in Lisa Nichols. Okay. Perfect. Right there. Bam. Okay. Okay. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Most people will put in 10, 15, 20, different keywords all in this area right here. We're going to split it up. We're doing multiple ad sets. We're going to split them up. One's going to be Lisa Nichols, five bucks a day. Another one's going to be Les Brown, five bucks a day. Another one's going to be Oprah, five bucks a day. We're going to do a fourth one, which gives us our 20 bucks per day. Okay. So let me show you where the magic is. Stick with me. And again, if you guys are new to my channel, man, my name is David. I, I'm, I, I've been building a social media agency since 2016 around real estate agents and small business owners, helping them with social media marketing and Facebook advertising. So I've been in the trenches since 2016, mastering my craft and just trying to get better every damn day. So if you're new to my channel, man, please subscribe. If you don't subscribe, give me a freaking thumbs up, dude. At least give me a damn thumbs up. If you made it this far in this damn video, give me a freaking thumbs up, dude, please, man. That's all I ask, man. Let, let or, or share the damn video, right? Share it with some homies, whatever. Share it um, is, 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 the, is the most you can do, the least you can do, right? So I would truly appreciate that more than ever, more than anything, you guys. So, if you're getting any value whatsoever, please give me a like or or, or subscribe. We're gonna leave that as is. We're gonna keep going. We're, we already got our interest right there. Languages. We're gonna leave all. We'll we'll just go all languages, and we're gonna leave automatic placement. We're gonna let Facebook do their thing and just try to maximize and optimize that ad on the best platform. Automatic. I'm gonna let it let it let it fly everywhere. Okay, and then I'm gonna go next. Okay, now here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna come to the third section this is right here the third tab is what i call it right now we're over here now what we did is we we posted the video on the business page first right so because we posted it there what we're going to do now is come down here use existing post and i'm going to select post and i'm going to go find that post which will be this one right here which was uploaded on january 14th so i'm going to click on that one i'm going to hit continue and there it is there. So now that I have it here, I can no longer change the text. That's why I always want to quadruple check to make sure that everything is written out right. There's no misspelled words and it looks proper, right? Because by the time I get here, I cannot change it anymore. It, it is what it is, right? So now, now let's see what it looks like. Bam, we got our, our, our text. And then down here would be the, the title, which is the headline, but it's not showing for whatever reason. But that's fine. It'll show up on the final ad. And so um, it'll say right here, videos can't be longer than 120 for Instagram. And that's fine. So here's our ad, our, our, our call to action button to learn more. Okay. So there's the learn more. And then we're going to grab our link right here. There is our link right there. We're going to paste that in. We're going to update post. And we are good to go. You always want to make sure that this dot is green 
Make sure that your pixel is lit up. Make sure that your pixel is active. There goes the learn more. There goes the title, how to create a story that pays and slays. I like that. Okay, so here we go. So that is it, you guys, on the third section. We got our call to action button. Um, we got our pixel up and going. Um, and we don't need anything out. So here's what we're going to do now. So stick with me. Here's what we're going to do now. And if you got an Instagram account, bam, go ahead and include it. But this video is too long for Instagram, so it's not even going to go there. But we'll, we'll, we'll include it just for the heck of it. And now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here and hit publish. Now, I scheduled it for 9 p.m., right? I scheduled it for 9 p.m. Here's what we're going to do now. We're going to simply let this thing publish. We'll let this thing let this thing go through. And then all I'm going to do is simply X out right here in the top left. I'm going to X out. And now we got this is the third tab we were just in. That's in draft. We got this middle section, which is already approved. That's already scheduled and ready to go. And then we got the campaign already approved, already scheduled, ready to go. The third tab, this is what stays in review for a while. So this might be in review for a few hours. You know, that's why normally I'll place the ad the next day. If I'm, if, if I'm, you know, setting it up now, I'll always place the ad to go live tomorrow at 6 a.m. But because we're kind of in a, um, in a freaking, in a rush, I want it to go live now. So I just pushed out a few hours right now. It's freaking 5.30 my time. So 9 p.m. is when, is when it'll go live tonight. Okay. So um, here's what we're going to do now. Here's what we're going to do now. Here's where the freaking magic happens. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to X out once selected, X out once selected. X out one selected. Okay. I'm going to bring it back over here to tab number one, the campaigns. And then I'm going to make sure there's nothing checked, right? No boxes checked, right? There, that one's checked. I'm going to uncheck it, make sure everything is unchecked. Okay. Everything is unchecked. This is in review. So we're good. What we're going to do now is we're going to take it up a notch on the ad set level. We're going to come over here and we're going to simply duplicate. And we're going to do just simply one at a time. You can go multiple at a time. And sometimes I do, but I'm going to just do one at a time just so I can walk you guys through it. Okay. So we're going to duplicate the original campaign. Okay. Um, and we're going to simply hit duplicate. Here's what we're going to do now. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I am now on the copy, uh, um, um, the copy, the copy one. All I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down scroll down, leave it at five bucks a day. And all I'm changing is the actual um, 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 interest. So I'm going to go from Lisa Nichols. I'm going to X that out and I'm going to go Les Brown. And what I'm doing is I'm choosing Les Brown speaker right there. Bam. What I'm doing, you guys, is I'm simply going to lay out I'm, I'm simply going to really track my ROI to the fullest capability like I'm going to be able to look at these four different interest groups in a few days and see which one is performing and which one's not which one's giving me a good ROI on my investment which one's which one's not which one's giving me the best cost per lead which one isn't in three days I'll take a look and I'll shut off I'm going to do four of them I'll shut off three of the four Maybe I might just shut off two of the four, but I'm for sure going to shut off some. There's always going to be one that outperforms the other three. There's always going to be two that outperform the other, the other two, right? So we'll, we'll see where we're at in a few days, but, but that's, that's the whole strategy, right? That's the whole strategy. So I put in Les Brown, I come up to the top and I simply paste it in there. Okay. Now we got that, 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 that second ad set. Okay. So that is there. I'm not going to publish it yet. I'm going to X out. Now I'm going to uncheck this third box. I'm coming back to over here. And now what I'm going to do is uncheck that. So nothing's checked. And all I'm going to do is duplicate it again. So I'm going to du duplicate Lisa Nichols. I'm going to do one at a time. Keep it simple. Just do one at a time. And now I'm going to come up here. And the, the next targeting, I believe, is Oprah. Yeah, Oprah. Okay. So all I'm going to do is take out this Oprah title it Oprah, and I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to get rid of uh, Lisa Nichols. And I'm going to type in Oprah. Oprah Winfrey, right there, bam, 19 million. Okay, 
Got that. We're locked and loaded. Oprah is ready to go. Now I'm going to X out. I'm going to uncheck the third one. And I'm going to simply come over here and I'm going to duplicate. I could duplicate any of the three, but I'll, so I'll just duplicate that one. So duplicate that one. Okay. And then the last one is going to be a name that I've never heard of, but hopefully, hopefully there's an audience. You. Okay, so O U O O U A I Z. Okay, I guess that's how you spell it. Okay, so I'm going to come down here, take out Oprah, and I'm going to simply type in that name A F O U A F O U A I Z. Okay, so there's no there's no name under that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins is, is a huge public speaker, right? Motivational speaker, Tony Robbins. We're going to go with Tony Robbins. We're going to go with Tony Robbins for the fourth one. Okay. And we're targeting women. So it's all good. There's a ton of women who follow uh, Tony Robbins. So here's what we're going to do now. Here's what we're going to do now. We're going to X out. Now, if I Uncheck that one selected over here on the tab on the third tab over here, right? I want to make sure I uncheck that one. I come back over here. Now I have four ad sets. I have one scheduled, right? This one right here, this right here, that's scheduled. This is the original one, right? So if I come over here, this is the one that's in review. Once that goes scheduled, meaning once it gets approved, then I'm going to come back to the middle tab. Or what I can do is I can simply come up here. I'm going to, here's all I'm going to do. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit publish. I'm going to hit publish, right? So I'm going to end up publishing all of the other ones. And if, and if that doesn't publish the ad sets, then I'll just come over here. Each one I'll click on, let's say, for example, I come in here, Tony Robbins. And all I got to do is come down. Let's click on, let's click on edit. All I got to do, if I got to do them one-on-one, -on -one, one by one, I'll do them one by one. It doesn't matter. I'll hit publish right here. And then I'll come down to the next one and then I'll hit publish right here. And then I'll come down to the next one and I'll hit publish right here. Okay. So if you got to do it that way, you could do it that way for sure as well. Because what I want to make sure is that the first one gets approved first. Now there's nothing crazy that we're doing. So I don't know why it would get rejected at all, but I want it to go approved first, right? I want that first one. Let's go back to the first one, which was the, the Lisa Nichols. I want this one to, to, to go up to, to approve on all three tabs, campaign ad sets and ad ads for one ad set. I want that to go to approve and, and be scheduled to go live at 9 PM. The moment it does that. So I'm going to have to micromanage it over the next few hours until, until we get that email that it approves. Right. Then I'll come in here and just, and I'll, and I'll publish these other three right away. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to come over here to, to, to columns performance and I want to come over here and I want to, now I, or, I already created, let me, let me do this over so you guys can really, really, really get value from this one. I'll do that one over. Here's what I want to do. Okay. Here's what I want to do. Let me just, let's just, let's just keep it from, let's, let's keep it actually, well, shit, I already, let's go to, I'll just start from the beginning. Okay. So this is how it normally is. This is how it normally is columns performance. This is how it normally is. After I set all that up, right? After I set all that up, here's what I want to do next. These four, we're good there. And then, and then, and then we're good there. Okay. Here's what I want to do. This is the last step. And then we're done. I want to come over here to columns performance and I want to come down and customize columns. Again, you have to watch the other three, watch the other three videos that I have in the description, the pixel, the custom conversion and the custom audiences, because you're not going to be able to do this part unless you set up a custom conversion. Okay. Um, so here's what is over here to the right. These are all the columns at the very top. So right here, campaign name, delivery, results, like reach, impressions, cost per result, amount spent, all this shit that is listed right here. Then we go to the ad sets and we got all this other crap that's up here at the top, right? Cost per result, reach, impressions, all that stuff is important, but there's a lot of stuff that's not. Like, so I'm gonna delete a lot of that shit to take away the clutter and just leave what we really need there, right? Because at the end of the day, there's only a few metrics that you really need to know, man. You don't need to know all these other metrics. Like I'm gonna show you which ones are the most important. So all we're gonna do, is we're going to come over here, click on the, on the first tab campaigns. 
we're going to come over here, column performance, and we're going to scroll down to customize columns. Okay. This is what we're going to do over here to the right hand side. This is all of the, 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 the freaking labels at the top in the column. We're going to take away a lot of these. Okay. We're going to take away um, last significant edit results, reach impressions, cost per result, uh, engagement rate, conversion rate, um, 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 link clicks, uh, video, uh, video, video, I don't care about none of that. Um, ends amount spent quality ranking, um, quality ranking. I don't even really care about that, but I mean, that's a metric that some people like, but let's just get rid of it. Budget bid strategy, ad set name delivery. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do now to the left. We have our custom conversions. This is what we set up right here. Okay. One storytelling course students, storytelling sell, storytelling sales page ATC, storytelling leads, scheduled appointments, ebook leads. These are our custom conversions. Okay. What we're shooting for is the leads. That's what I set up. That's what we're running a conversion on is the storytelling leads. Okay. So I want that one. I want the total of leads and I want the cost. I want the cost. Okay. So now as I check on the box, they're over here to the right. All I'm going to do is drag them up. I'm going to drag, I'm going to drag it up just like that. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the bottom left. I'm going to save as preset. And this is going to be story telling campaign. Storytelling story. Did I put too, too many L's story? storytelling campaign and i'm going to click apply now as i come over here dude as i come over here look check the box click on the middle tab where are our freaking let me um let me uncheck this okay where did our freaking give me one second Okay, all I had to do was refresh the page. Now we're in freaking business. Now we're in business. Now, look, I'm in my columns. I'm in my customized column, okay? So if I hit the drop down, I'm in the, um, the custom column, which is a storytelling one, right? Let's go to storytelling. So I'm in the storytelling one, right? Now look at my dashboard. Look how it reads now. Storytelling leads cost per storytelling leads. It just gives my mind, it, 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 it gives me, it, it allows me to look and, and be like, damn, that's my shit, right? All we really care about are how many leads came in, what was the cost per lead and how much was spent. That's it, dude. Like, what else do I need to know? Like, I don't give a damn about nothing else, right? Like, I, I really don't. I'm already creating a custom audience of those who are watching my video. I'm already creating a custom audience of those who are landing on my page, but not opting in. I'm already creating an audience of those who actually opt in and become a lead. I'm already creating a custom audience of those who actually purchase my shit. Like, I don't need any other metrics up here. Like, I don't care about any of those metrics. Like, that's all I need is, is how many leads came in? What was the cost per lead? And freaking, and, and, and how much, what was the amount spent? That was it, man. 34 bucks. Like, that's, that's, all, that's all we need to know. And that's how you can do it in the, in the columns by simply customizing it. Okay, you guys. So that's how you run a conversion that on Facebook. Again, those are that's for that's for those of you who are who are looking to capture leads and make sales online. All right, guys. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't watched any any of the previous videos, watch those. This is like a series of four. This is video number four in the damn series. All right, let's call this a four part series. This is part four. Okay. Um, those other three videos are in the are in the description, and I truly believe you'll get a, a lot of value out of those videos. All right, guys. So that's how you capture leads on social media in 2021 and beyond. I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.